Today, I'd like to show you how SMI's Experiment Suite 360 is employed to track and analyze the actual eye movements of people viewing a website, critical for usability and market research. The tracking results can be easily exported for detailed visual and statistical analysis. Let me show you how it works. You start in SMI Experiment Center, where the initial task is to set up the controlled environment for your study. Overall, this is referred to as an experiment. The Experiment Center user interface is divided into four key areas. Across the top is a toolbar for defining and managing your experiment. The center area on the left is where you'll list the stimuli you want your participants to experience, such as introductory text and websites. Opposite the general stimuli list are two sections to provide details about any stimulus. Up top is a preview of the currently selected stimulus element, and below that are the element's properties, which can be easily edited. The final part of the UI, along the bottom, contains controls for running the experiment and offers the ability to select the desired monitor as well as execute a dry run. Before any data can be recorded for your experiment, the system must be calibrated for each participant. As this is an essential step, the calibration entry is placed in the stimuli area by default. Refer to your documentation for the exact steps to calibrate your current hardware. To ensure your results are as accurate as possible, you may want to validate the calibration. Click Validation to place this critical step after the calibration in the stimuli queue. You may add additional validation points throughout the experiment for better data control. Now you're ready to bring in your desired content. Click Text to start. The Text Editor window opens, and you're ready to enter your text directly, or, as I'll do, paste copied text from any rich text format compatible software, like Microsoft Word. When you're done, click OK. Finally, click Web to add a website to the stimulus list. The SMI site, smivision.com, is inserted as the default placeholder entry, but you can easily change that in the Stimulus Properties area. I'll modify the web address or URL to www.amazon.com. You can also select a site stored locally by clicking the Browse icon to the right. Currently, Experiment Center natively supports two browsers, Microsoft Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. There are also numerous other properties you can set, including whether to engage background screen recording or not. Background screen recording keeps track of changes to the web page, such as dynamically loaded content. I'll show you an example of background screen recording in Web UX testing with SMI Eye Tracking Solutions Part 2, which covers data analysis. Not only can Experiment Center record the eye movements of the participants, it can also record audio and video of the participants themselves while they are engaged in the experiment via a dedicated webcam by using the optional SMI observation package. I'll show you an example of the output from the observation package integrated with the data in BGAZE in Part 2. Now you're ready to run your custom experiment. To make sure there aren't any unwanted changes, Freeze the experiment by toggling Unlocked to Locked. This prevents any new stimuli from being added or any existing stimuli from being modified accidentally. And then store the experiment by clicking Save. Locking the experiment also allows us to take it for a dry run. If you have another monitor connected to your Experiment Center system, choose the one you want to run the experiment on from the Select Stimulus Monitor list on the bottom left. Use the Identify button to make sure you're working with your desired monitor. First, let's verify that all the steps are working as expected. Click Dry Run to review all screens. The first stimulus, the introductory text, appears. Press the spacebar to continue. Next, your chosen website is displayed in a native browser window. Here, I'll enter Jeff Bridges in the search field, which will allow Experiment Center to begin tracking keystrokes and mouse clicks. SMI Experiment Center also allows me to open multiple tabs and browser windows. When you're done, click the Close button on the browser. Make sure that the connection to your eye tracking hardware is properly set up. You can tell when it's working correctly 
when the disconnected icon in the upper right changes to connected. When you're ready to fully run the experiment, your participant is in place and the conditions are right, press record. All data is automatically stored in the locations specified by you via the global settings. By default, the data is stored in the program files slash SMI slash experiment suite 360 slash experiment center 2 slash results folder. After you've run all your recordings with the various participants, click BGaze to automatically transfer control and data to the analytical element of Experiment Suite 360, BGaze. The BGaze button becomes active after you have recorded and saved at least one participant, as long as BGaze is not already running. That concludes our look at the Experiment Suite 360 component Experiment Center. We'll examine the data analysis capabilities of the other component, BGaze, in part two.